victory. We have the power to speak victory and not defeat. The Bible teaches us that God has given us great power in our words. In fact, God created the worlds with the word of his mouth. And the Bible teaches us, we who are made in the image of God as human beings, we too have great power in the words of our mouth. Let's read Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21. It tells us, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Our confession is important. The words we speak are words of authority. The words we speak could be words of faith or they could be words of unbelief. And the scripture clearly tells us death and life are in the power of our tongue and we could eat the fruit of whatever it is we confess. So if we confess in line with God's word, if we agree with God's word, we can be assured that we will reap the fruit of God's word in our lives. Now we could um, speak life or we could speak negativity and defeat. Now the Bible uh, very strongly uh, exhorts us to continue uh, in line with God's word. Let's read another scripture. Proverbs 6 and verse 2. It says, You are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of of your mouth. What does it mean to align to God's word? It means to have a deposit of God's word in our heart about various situations. Maybe we're going through fear, we're going through a, a great anxiety about our job situation. In those moments, we could either confess and say that I don't have it in me to to uh, be successful, to find favor uh, in the sight of, of my uh, boss or my subordinates. But instead of that, if we can believe God and we can speak life into that situation of fear and anxiety, we would find circumstances changing for us. Now, one of the other things we notice here is that God has given us uh, a great choice. Uh, and Moment to moment, we as God's people have to choose. Uh, one of the ways with uh, one of the ways in which we choose uh, life to every area of our lives is by speaking in line with God's word. So today, I'd like to encourage you to speak victory, speak in line with God's word. Let's pray, Father God. We pray that Lord. You would help us, Father, uh, in, in our walk of life. Lord, your word says, walk by faith and not by sight. And so, God, enable us, God, that, to walk by faith. And God, we know that it is your word that releases faith in our hearts, O oh God. So, Father, this today we confess, we confess your victory. We confess your victory over our family. We confess your victory over our job. We confess your victory, Lord, uh, over, uh, Lord, every circumstance that we are in and we will encounter. We give you the glory, Lord Jesus, because you will lead us and you will strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.